Testing. Hanny Hardy, ready to party? Is my heart beating? Cool. So today we are going to be talking about burnout, coming out, the medical field, and uh, paid endorsement. So if any of those things are gonna really super duper upset you and ruin your day, I encourage you to, you know, uh, seek support. But I'm very, very excited to discuss the new show, This Is Going To Hurt, available now on AMC Plus, because boy, howdy, did it get me thinking some things. Let's start with burnout. Uh, if you're alive, you probably feel burnt out. So let's define burnout. If you feel like you don't have enough energy to do your full-time job and keep your house clean and keep up your social engagements and pursue your hobbies, well, guess what? You're not weird, you're not flawed, you're perfect, you're a human being. Yes, you are just literally physically alive. You wanna hear some startling statistics? Can I tell you some fun facts? I have some fun facts. Can I tell you some fun facts? Okay, here's a fun fact. So the 40 hour work week started out as a seemingly great idea that really drastically changed the lives of a lot of people. However, it relies on the idea that there is another person at home doing all the household management, making sure things are ready so that you can continue to be a cog in the machine. And as most of us have experienced in this millennia, almost all adults in any given household are working. Oh, and as of 2018, only 18% of parents stay at home with kids. Less than 20% of parents are able to stay at home with kids. Oh man, what is gonna happen to the future? And despite taking place in 2006, which was a really different time, this is going to hurt, takes burnout to a whole new level. Oh my goodness, let's take a look. I can't, I can't do this. This woman's gonna die and it's my fault. Should we get Mr. Lockhart in? Now this is going to hurt shares a story of burnout that takes it to a whole nother level. A new level that in 2006 maybe wasn't as familiar with many of us as it is today in 2022. Two thousand six versus twenty twenty two. Oh my God. God. Do we even remember 2006? Let me tell you a tale of the times we have seen. Wow. So the show follows the journey of a young man who is in the closet in 2006 and working in the medical field in the NHS. It's, uh, it's, it covers lots of bases. It covers burnout, it covers coming out, it covers medical drama. And, um, well, you're gonna have to watch and see. Now, 2006 was a really different time. And I dare say that in terms of queerness, 2006 makes 2022 look like a paradise, though it's hard to say that at all. But let's gain some perspective here. First of all, personally, on the personal level, for me personally, in the year 2006, I was in the closet. Wow. Politically, <laughs> things were not great. In fact, in my home state of California in the year 2008, people actively voted against gay marriage. Man, I remember that. I was, again, still pretty closeted. I had at this point fallen in love. And uh, I gotta tell you what, um, seeing the state vote against my eventual right to marry, seeing the state vote against the right to marry, that law wasn't ruled unconstitutional until 2010. Sorry, just to get. Ugh, bah, bah. Then, gay marriage wasn't legal nationwide until 2015. So, it's really important that we here in 2022 don't lose perspective about that. Man, you know? Oh boy, oh boy, I love being married. It's the best. So, yeah, as. So, yeah, as we can tell. So these rights could use our generation's protection. We cannot take them for granted. Rights to our bodies, rights to ourselves, rights for any people to be alive in America just at all. Just rights, 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 rights. I could write a song from the perspective of being in love with a man if it was about my cat, Chavos. That's my man, 
This show takes place in England and I'm gonna read from this piece of paper and tell you about it. <clears throat> Gay marriage wasn't legalized until 2014 in England, but people could have same-sex civil partnerships that had the same rights as marriage in 2006 when the show is set. Now it does feel super specific to 2006 to see Adam and his boyfriend, his partner, be in this closeted relationship. Um, they don't really know, they don't know really that I'm um, engaged. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the main gang do, obviously. Yeah, they're, they're all coming. And how big's this gang, then? We're talking the Yakuza, right? Not the famous five. <laughs> There's Shruti and Tracy and... Julian and... Yeah, loads of people. Well, it'll be good to meet them, finally. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, many, many people had loving, lifelong partnerships that were closeted because that was the way that they could stay safe. And it's so, so, so important that we remember that safety is not a guarantee for queer people in this world because society is so desperately attached to the structure, the power structure of uh, you've heard all the words, you know what it's about, you know what's happening. It's real. Yeah, it's really happening. This is, this is real. And one of the things about being in the closet that I feel compelled to share is how it can take a loving, a potentially loving and gracious relationship and turn it so toxic. Because being in the closet is unnatural. Falling in love is natural. Being in the closet is not. And to have to choose between your work, your biological family, your physical safety, and love is no choice anyone should ever have to make. And I will spend my life striving to protect that because we've earned it and I don't want it going away. And we earned it by being born. Oh, it's so easy to forget that these rights aren't actually in question. They're just being stripped away by systems of power that rely, that actively rely on a certain heteronormative patriarchal hierarchy, even the right to your own human body. So anyway, the show takes place in 2006, um, and it was bad then too. One of the funny things about being alive in 2022 is that the uh, healthcare system is just such a mess that in our free time, it's actually kind of fun to watch TV shows about the horrors of being a deeply traumatized doctor in the NHS and still being like, oh wow, all those people have access to guaranteed healthcare. That's neat. So from an American perspective, it's just kind of like, it's just wild. It's just wild. It's wild what we are made to tolerate here. But the good news is, as someone who's 35, I am in it, man. I am active locally. I am ready to do this and by do this, I mean keep living and loving and being open and positive and having standards and boundaries. Now, I do want to talk about the medical field, not only from the perspective of access to healthcare, but also from the perspective of a queer person. As a queer person, I ask for queer doctors. This show follows a doctor who's in the closet. So even I, as a queer person, wanting to find someone who maybe could relate more to my experience or knew how to speak to me in a way that allowed me to feel safe, uh, it wouldn't have happened, you know, because of the whole closet case, which is why coming out is so important if you can, if you have access to resources and safety, if you won't physically die. Let me just say this. I know I keep talking about coming out again, but it's just so important because like, if you are, if it's life in the closet hurts bad, it hurts bad. I mean, if you're in the closet, you are suffering from the collusion of your own self's rejection by society. Like you exist, dude, like you exist. People need you. So yeah, I encourage you to watch the show and kind of reflect on the differences between 2006 and today and maybe get a little pep in your step, a little kick in the pants to make sure that you're building a life 
um, that keeps you from burning out and that you're staying staying as far away from the closet as possible. And if you're someone in a position of power who perhaps is not living truly authentically, you might want to consider um, your ability to do so could change the world for the better. Because the world is a better place with you in it. So the more you are, the better off we'll all be is my thinking. Anyway, if you want to check out the show, it's called This Is Going To Hurt. It's available now on AMC+. Plus. Um, you can get the premium streaming bundle by using my link in the description below. Um, so please enjoy. I hope it gets you riled up about burnout and healthcare and queer stuff uh, because who doesn't, who doesn't love to... Who doesn't love to do this? Ah! Oh my, this is a sign, okay? AMC Plus, click the link in the description below. This is going to hurt. It's a prestige drama and I enjoyed it very much. 